hello everyone so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to create an in instance with the windows image boot image and then try to access the gui of the windows vm using a app in our desktop which is remote desktop connection so basically what this does is it creates an instance which is a backend in google on-prem and then when we try to access it using its external ip so that we could access the gui and use it as a computer which we use as a personal laptop so that we could download apps and try to do all the stuff that we want to test it out in a test mission so let's dive into it so let's create a vm instance so, so we want it to be any name we want any custom name let's give windows from Okay, Windows. It just looks good. It looks good. Let's give it some more say uh, 16 GB standard uh, core CPU. And Windows machine is going to be pretty high. So anyway, we're using a free trial account, so I don't think that would be a big problem for us. So now we're going to change the operating system into Windows Server. The version we can give anything we want, but I have worked on 2019. Isn't the person fix okay? Everything looks good. I think everything looks good. Okay, let's go create it. As you guys can see, it's as we can see, it's getting created. Might take some time in this mission. So let's. Go on and click here. Yeah. Uh, set Windows Pass. So as you can see, this is my username because I'm using my mail to access Google Cloud. Well, I just click Set. And this is the password. Let's just copy and keep it in the tab. For research purposes okay just close it now uh, just click external IP and what we're going to do is we're going to go to this we're going to go to start and then type Remote, remote desktop connection so you're supposed to copy the external IP then go to remote desktop machine and then just paste it and then type the username that you have set or was given and now the password must be this one which you have copied we'll see then you can go here and then paste it okay I think once you're done, we'll, uh, yeah, you can give X S. So you will be inside the Windows machine. So I guess we'll be starting, we'll be rebooting. This is our view. Now you can go for uh, say Internet Explorer and try different things. So I'll just click it. So yeah, we have Internet Explorer here. So double click it. Okay, now we can go to another tab. 
string. There we have it, folks. This is how you uh, create an instance and use the remote desktop connection to access the UI user interface of the operating system. Catch you in another one, guys. Bye bye now.